Internet access tips for Americans moving to Mexico. I've been working online in Mexico for almost 20 years now. I have many friends that live down here and work online each and every day. Most of their clients are in the United States or Canada. If our internet is slow, or God forbid it goes down, that's terrible for our, uh, our business, our income, we can't pay our rent. Fast and reliable internet is very important when you're working online in Mexico. Given all of my experience, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do so you always have fast and reliable internet anywhere you live in Mexico. Believe me, I've seen it all. I moved to Puerto Vallarta in 2015. I told my new landlord that I worked online and I told her that I needed fast, reliable internet. And I told her that I was gonna get here on a certain day and I told her that the day after at 10 a.m. I needed internet that day so that I could go right to work. I arrived in Puerto Vallarta one day and, it's, and it surprised the heck out of me, but at 10 a.m. the next day, the internet service provider showed up and hooked me up with a modem and high-speed internet. That was my first connection with Telmex. Telmex is Mexico's largest internet telephone company. You can get Telmex anywhere in Mexico. They're fast and most of the time they're really reliable. When I signed up back then, uh, Telmex only had a plan where you had to get the phone service and with the phone service came internet. That cost me $50 a month. It came with a phone line, a telephone and internet connectivity. With internet stuff developing over the years, now you can just get Telmex with no phone, no phone line, who needs that? And it only costs about $17 a month. I've never had a problem with Telmex, but wherever you live in whatever city you live in, it depends on where you live and how close you are to a tower. I've lived in Puerto Vallarta, I had great service. People on the other side of town were having big difficulties. I lived in that apartment for one year, then I moved to a different apartment. It was high up on a hill overlooking the ocean. It was a beautiful place, but in this place I learned my biggest lesson for renting an apartment and having internet access. This lesson is or was Wherever you live in Mexico, always have the modem in your apartment where you can see it, touch it, and reboot it. When I moved into this new place, the owner had a beautiful home and I lived under that in a separate apartment. Total different places, different keys and doors to get in and out. The modem was upstairs in one of his small rooms. The internet connection went out many times. The modem just needed to be restarted. But many times he wasn't at home, he would leave for a couple of weeks. I couldn't get to the modem. It was very stressful and very frustrating. I stayed in that place for three years and we worked out where he gave me the keys to his house and I could go up and reset the modem. So everything did work out okay. The next place I moved to, I stayed there for five years. It was a fantastic place. It was kind of in the ghetto of Puerto Vallarta. And the landlord offered, he, he, it was the same situation. He had built this giant house and my apartment was on the second floor and he lived in this wonderful house on the first floor. So he offered to pay for my internet service. That would be included in my rent. At this point, I had learned that I need a modem in my apartment. So I told him, no thanks. I got my own internet service and that modem was in my apartment where I could see it, touch it and reboot it. Please leave a comment, tell us what you think. And if you like the video, click the like button. And if you know somebody that's moving to Mexico and they're gonna work online, click that share button. 
Now I'm going to jump ahead to about 2017 when I moved to Chapala, Mexico and lived in a brand new house. As soon as I moved into the house, I made a trip to Telmex to go get a modem and get my internet connected. My visit was very alarming, actually. It was a small office and there were like three or four waiting chairs and right there was a lady behind a desk and you go talk to her, fill out the paperwork and get all hooked up. There were four or five people ahead of me and I could hear everything that they were saying. Each one was complaining that they had not had internet for about three to four weeks. I was getting freaked out. Sure, I signed up. I took my modem with me, hooked it up. I had internet, but still after hearing all those terrible stories, I was really worried. That service was costing me about $15 a month. I don't remember how I figured out how to do this, but I knew I needed another source for internet just in case Telmex went down. And that's when I went to Telcel. Telcel is the biggest cell phone provider in all of Mexico. Everybody that has cell phone service in Mexico is using Telcel. I went to the Telcel office signed up that was another fifteen dollars a month and the, the, their service was really different because telmex is all connected with wires telephone wires and yeah they have their high speed wires that's all on the ground they don't have anything underground in mexico it's all above ground it's like spaghetti everywhere everywhere you're walking telcel was different the modem they gave me, it was about the size of a credit card, but it was about a half inch thick and it hooked up to a satellite. So I gave the lady my paperwork, my $15 for my first month. And I said, well, how soon can I have service? And she said, oh, you'll have it in about 30 minutes. This modem was connected to a satellite. So it was pretty cool. So I had Telcel and tell Mex for a pretty long period of time, maybe three or four years. I would go back and forth from service to service, see which one was faster that day. Occasionally one would go out, I'd go to the other service, that one would go out and go back to that service, and that worked fine for my whole time in Chapala. I always had reliable, fast, internet one way or another. We have a new Facebook page. It's called Mexico Expats Bill Dallas Lewis. A link is in the description below. Join us and post your music, your pictures, and share all your ideas about the joys of living in Mexico. Now I'm going to tell you something that's really strange. My neighbor next door she had Telmex and she had Telcel internet service and for her neither one worked for two full years. The companies couldn't get it to connect to her house. I mean her house was like five feet away from my house. It was the weirdest thing. Whatever, right? So let's wrap this up with a special summary. So What's the moral of the story? Wherever you go, make sure that the modem is in your apartment and have two, if you're working online, have two services. That's only gonna cost you 30 to $40 a month. Then you're always covered. You can see both modems, you can reboot both modems, and if one service is out, which one service will go out, you can always jump right to the other service and you'll be good to go. We go live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Click that sub subscribe button and you'll get a notification and you can join in with us and have lots of fun every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Thank you very much for watching. It took me almost 20 years to figure out all of these tips so that I could share them with you. Click that subscribe button. We have many more videos to come and we'll see you in the next video.